only crazy people think with their heads. You got to think from somewhere deep inside. You have to come from your heart. Coming from the heart has set Canadian architect Douglas Cardinal apart from his peers in more ways than one. His uniquely curvilinear style and his recourse to Plains Indian traditions have won him friends, enemies, and arguably the country's most prestigious architectural commission, the Canadian Museum of Civilization. It's a joy to work in this building. Every day when I go down the halls, I go to different parts of the building, and I'll see a new angle, something that I haven't seen before, and I catch my breath. And it's a little, oh, isn't that beautiful? I'm surrounded by art. It has a sereneness. It, it encaptures you. You, you feel the building, and you feel what's something's in it. There's spirit within the building. Plus, he builds really nice stuff. If you look, if you look at it; they're gorgeous buildings. And if you had a choice, wouldn't you rather work in a gorgeous building than a crappy one? I had the choice of. Uh as my commissions got larger and larger, or not doing any more organic architecture, or go to another way of defining my organic forms. So I had to turn to computers. Uh, Douglas apparently went to Texas uh, uh, on a Friday. He decided that computers were the way to go. Uh, and then the following Monday, he came into the office. He had ordered four computer workstations for us, which in those days was an exorbitant expense. He had ordered those four terminals. They came into the office very shortly thereafter, and then Doug announced that all the drawing boards were gone. I just burned their ships. I threw out the drawing boards, pencils, and everything, and put in computer terminals, and I said, there's only one way forward. He affected everyone he worked with, and this is something very important, I think. Everyone who worked with Douglas, closely with Douglas as in his own team, learned something and grew very much from working with him, from the experience of working with Douglas. He taught us uh, to challenge the status quo. He taught us not to be afraid of uh, breaking new ground, of saying what we think is right. He taught us to, uh, to realize that life is not the way it actually is, but it is the way we perceive it. And the way we perceive life is what we make of life eventually.